Hello. So now that we supposedly are done with the modeling and we're going to assume that we're done with all the lights and their settings and we're happy with um, the scene that we ended up with. Before we begin uh, producing the final rendered image uh, that will be placed in the presentations or will be shown to clients, I need to have uh, to make sure that I am happy with my results and not by looking at the rendered view right here, but rather to go for the ray traced uh, view in order to see how the lights are going to be viewed in the final results. Now, this is due to the fact that Rhino ignores the processes that have to do with light and shade and shadow simply because they take a lot of time. And therefore, you can see that even though we've fixed this in the last tutorial, I still see a very sharp shadow right here. I still see burnt areas here and I don't see um, the shadow casted by this object that we added uh, before. Or towards the end of last tutorial. Um, that's simply because, as we mentioned before, such processes of light and shade and shadow are ignored in such a view uh, just to save uh, the processing time and to avoid having the document um, lagging or, um, you know, driving us crazy working on it. Uh, if you want to see the end result in a draft view, you can either render an image in the draft settings or you can use the ray traced, um, uh, the ray traced option from the view right here. Now, a little disclaimer before we move forward, you can see that my computer is slightly lagging. So some clicks might take a while uh, to take effect. And I'm going to be pausing to avoid any confusions, just to wait for the computer to respond. Um, right now, what I need to do is render my image. Uh, as we mentioned before, we have set a draft settings, a draft render settings before, and we need to change that to the final render settings so that we can produce large and high quality images that will be produced to, um, to, to be used in presentations or to be shown to clients or doers. Um, to do that, I'm going to go to the tools menu at the top and I'm going to choose the options uh, at the end of the list. Uh, following that, I will choose render under the document properties. I'll go to render. And this is where we were editing the draft um, render settings before. As we mentioned, we last chose a very small uh, image size. Right now, I'll go for the largest one available, which is 1920 by 1080 or 16 to 9 ratio. Uh, of course, if you would like to have a different proportions of the image, to avoid cropping the image or rescaling it later, you can, of course, change the ratios um, as you wish and as you find appropriate. Right now, I'm happy with the larger one. That does not mean that you have to stick to the larger one. So please choose the proportions that fit your presentation. Next is I'm going to edit the DPI to since this is a relatively large uh, poster, I'm going to make it 150. You can go up to around 300. Avoid going uh, for any higher numbers because they will they will take much longer uh, to um, to render and they will they will produce a much larger file as well. And next is I'm going to go to quality. Before it used to be draft quality. Now I need to make it a final quality. I'm going to keep the background as is. Please feel free to change that. I'm not going to add an environment. Of course, you are free to change that as well. Add the background, add the ground plane, and so on. We've already discussed most of these uh, settings in previous tutorials. Please refer to that. We've also discussed the skylight and the sun in previous tutorials. Please uh, go ahead and refer to these. If you still have any questions, let me know. I'm going to keep everything as the default values. And then once again, I'm having problems with um, seeing the OK button for some reason. I'm going to assume that once I'm done, I'm going to click on OK. Uh, right now, I clicked on the X button just because it's the only button I can see right now. Uh, once I click on OK, all the effects are going to take place. And now I can go ahead and click on this render view and you will notice that the window will become larger right now because my computer is lagging i want to avoid having it crash i'm not going to press on this button but please go ahead and press on it and feel free to not save your image if you're not happy with it go back and change the settings as you wish and if you're happy with um, the render i think i'm just going to press on that and hope that it will render pretty quickly i'm going to pause the recording for now and uh, we will Okay, but oh no, there it's it's working nicely. Uh, 
I don't think I'll wait for it to finish the render. If you're happy with the render, now this the effects that we changed did not take place because we did not click on the OK button. Um, normally, this would sh this should be a larger window because we chose larger scale. Uh, if you're happy with the outcome, please press on this button to save it as a JPG or a TIFF file or a PNG file. If you're not happy, then just simply click on the X file, choose not to save your file and um, edit it and go back and render it again. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Remember, the key is um, uh, to keep on trying different settings, to keep on trying different uh, options and play around with options to find the best uh, that fits your scene. Uh, happy rendering. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know.